Welcome to our video on organising, managing and editing references in desktop EndNote. This is the third in a series of four videos covering the basics of using EndNote to manage your references. In this video, we'll be looking at navigating and managing your library, using groups to organise the references, editing those references, and also attaching PDFs, both using the automatic find full text tool within EndNote and manually attaching PDFs to references. Here are a few quick tips for navigating and managing your library. If you open your library and it looks like this without the right hand panel and you want to look at the details of one of your, your references, just double click on the article or the reference in your library and the side panel will open so you can see the summary, you can go to edit if you want to change it. And also down the bottom here, you get a preview of what that reference will look like in the style that's selected here. So that will show you what it would look like once you inserted it in your Word document using that style. To navigate around your library, you can reorder your references by clicking on the column headings. So if you want to sort by author, or reference type, um, you can do that by clicking on the headings. If you want to find a specific reference, use this search box at the top. So just search for anything that's in your library and it will come up with the search results there and you just click clear search underneath the search box once you've finished with that. Over here on the left hand side, there are various groups, some of which are automatically here. So you'll always have all references right at the top to allow you to get to the full list of all of them. If you've just added some, there'll be something in recently added. Anything that's unfiled is not in a group. So all of my references, none, well, none of them are in a group at the moment. We'll look at groups shortly. And then you've got your trash. So if you want to delete something from your library, you can just highlight it and press delete. You can right click and move the references to trash or you can just click on it and then drag it onto your trash and if you decide you want to get rid of everything in your trash you can just right click and empty it but if you want to reinstate something you can go into your trash and just move it back onto your references or on, onto a specific group also down here We'll look at groups in a moment, but at the bottom is the online search feature. And this is not something we tend to recommend using very much, apart from if you download the library catalog connection file to use with EndNote. So you can search for, for books to add to your library. So that's the only time we'd recommend you use the online search because it's not a very sophisticated searching tool within EndNote itself. One other thing that you can do with your references, so as you start to get lots of references in your library, you may get some duplicates creeping in. And under the library menu up here, there is a find duplicates tool. So it's a good idea to get rid of duplicates to avoid confusion and duplication in your reference lists. We recommend that you just have one EndNote library and you keep all of your references in there rather than having lots of separate libraries. To enable you to organise your references, you use the groups feature here on the left. So you can create, I think it's up to 500 groups and to create a group, just right click on my groups and click create group. Just give it a name. So for these references, I might want to spit out my references on blueberries. Um, you can call the groups anything you want, so it might be topics, it might be sections of your thesis. And then to get something into a group, you just highlight it and drag it onto that group. And as you do that, you'll see the number goes up. And to view the items in that group, just click on the group name. You can put a reference in multiple groups, it doesn't have to be uniquely just in one group. And you can get back to all of your references by clicking on all references at the top there. If you decide you don't want a group anymore, you can just right click on it and delete the group. That will remove the group, but the references will still be in your library. As you collect references from different databases, you may find that inconsistencies creep in. So for instance, this third reference here 
the article title is all in capitals and that would come through to your reference list in Word and make it look inconsistent. So there are things that you may need to come in and change. Also, we look at the fourth one from the bottom. The journal name here is abbreviated and that often happens when you download from PubMed. So most departments would require you to put journal names in full in your references, so you would need to edit that. So to make that change, I simply double click to open up the side panel, make sure I'm in the edit view, and just make the changes in the, in the field that you need to. So this full name of this journal is New England Journal of Medicine. So I'll pop the full name in there. Don't worry that it was appearing in red. That just meant that it wasn't matching on that journal in my library. I haven't got something else in this journal in my library. Um, and I will just change the capitalization on the article title as well. So it's in sentence case. So once you've made your changes, just click save and you'll see that reference is updated straight away. So if you were, had already added this reference to your Word documents and you spotted something that needed editing, just pop in here, make the changes, and then in the toolbar in Word, click Update Citations and Bibliography to pick up that change. There is a tool within EndNote to allow you to attach PDFs of the full text of journal articles to your references. And this automated tool will go through and try and get the PDFs and attach them to your references. This will only work for journal articles, so select the references that you're interested in finding full text for. And on the right of the screen, in the little toolbar above your references, click on this, this icon to search for full text documents. Once you click on that, over on the left hand side of the screen, the find full text area will open up and it will show you that it's searching for those references. And as it goes through, it will list its progress. So whether it's managed to find the PDF or as in this case here, it's found a URL which may take us to the full text. So we may want to follow that link to try and download the PDF. This works best if you are off on campus. And as you can see, it's been pretty successful in finding the full text of some of these articles. And the paper clip will appear next to the ones that it has found. So we're just waiting for it to finish. It's got one more that it's searching for. So there is one that it hasn't found the full text for. So just because EndNote doesn't find the full text doesn't mean we don't have access to that article. It just means it hasn't been able to find it and link it to your reference. So we've done very well here. We've got six PDFs attached. So to view that PDF, just double click on the reference and go to the summary tab. And here's the PDF. So you can just open it in the viewer. This will open in a separate window. And you do have some options here for annotating the PDF, so you can highlight text or put comments in. Once you've finished editing your PDF, click the save icon on the right of the screen and then close that window. And the, save is, the, the changes will be saved with that reference in your library. So that's how you use the find full text feature. If you already have the PDF of an article, you can attach it to the relevant reference in EndNote. Just find the reference you want to add it to. Click on Attach File in the Summary view. Browse to find the relevant article. And click Open. And that's now attached uh, to your reference. Uh, so everything will be stored together. You will just need to click away from that reference for it to save the changes. And you'll see once it's done that, the paper clip will appear next to it. Move on now to the final video in this series, which will show you how to use all those references you've added to EndNote in a Word document.